Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, check my social media links down below. We got Twitter, Facebook, something else. We got we got all kinds of stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, hit all those stuff down there and, and welcome. Welcome to the channel. <sighs> so I've been pretty depressed lately, you guys. A few days ago I was watching YouTube videos and I started watching videos about Jimmy Savile. Now, if you don't know Jimmy Savile, he was uh, over in over in England, the the United Kingdom over there. <laughs> he was a he was a famous TV host guy, rich famous dude and and uh, a horrible predator too. It was only revealed recently after he passed away that uh, he was this horrible predator against children, against the disabled, against dead bodies. I mean, a real monster of a man. And, and it was all covered up. People kind of knew it was an open secret for years, and it was all kind of covered up. And I fell down this whole YouTube rabbit hole of that sort of stuff and how it it goes on and has been going on and will in all likelihood continue going on forever and it's just depressing it's so depressing to think about and there's really you know what can what can you do about it it's nothing you know it's it's not a it's not a train of thought you really want to let into your mind because because it's just depressing you know then on top of that, we got this whole Syria thing going on right now with the whole, you know, we're bombing Syria right now. That's the news tonight. Syria, we're bombing them because, uh, because the oldest trick in the book, you know. Oh, they took the babies from the incubators. That whole thing again. So, that's sad. And so, when the whole channel awesome hashtag change the channel thing started to get going... I was like, yes, thank you, thank you, Lord, for delivering me from this depression. This is just what I needed. Some old school, petty internet drama that I can laugh at and that'll just snap me out of it, right? And then the big Juario bombshell dropped and I was like, ah, oh, no! Now I'm depressed all over again, man! <sighs> so... So I figured I'd make a video about it, and... And maybe you people will like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and that'll help snap me out of this depression. You know, nothing makes me happier than likes, comments, and subscribers. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about... Channel Awesome. Tig with Tig, that guy with the glasses, and Juario, and and now I want to say up front, I don't want to be one of these YouTubers who just talks about other YouTubers and internet drama and stuff like that. There's plenty of those people around, people who do it way better than I ever could, and. The only reason I'm talking about this particular instance of internet drama is because I feel a, a close connection to it, deep in here, in my, in my cavity, my body cavity, with all my organs, we feel, you know, a closeness to this, because I've been there, I've been here and there, watching. I've been watching these people following this particular group of, uh, content creators from the very beginning from back in 2008 when when Doug Walker was just a just a little youtuber desperately trying to grab on to the coattails of the angry video game nerd and I watched the whole thing I watched it grow I watched them move over to blip and the form their website that guy with the glasses I watched the whole thing the several, there have been several big dramas play out within this community over the years. I'm not going to give a full whole history on it, 
Okay, I've actually tried now a couple of times. This is uh, my third or fourth attempt at this video. I've tried to do a, a brief history and I keep screwing up and having to restart. So, so we're not going to do that. There's plenty of videos out there that give the history of that guy with the glasses. And, uh, you know, check out Mr. Medicker. He does a whole series on him that's pretty entertaining. But, uh, but yeah, I've been following these people for a long time. I remember when uh, he stopped doing the Nostalgia Critic, he was like, the Nostalgia Critic is dead, and I'm gonna, you know. That was a big mistake when he did that, because it's like, you know, he didn't want to do it anymore, but he should have taken some advice from Joe Dirt. It's not what you want. It's the consumer. And it was so embarrassing when he had to, like, come back and be like, hey, wait a minute, the Nostalgia Critic, maybe he isn't dead. Anyway, that's a whole other story for another day. Today we're talking about, uh, let's get right to the Juwario thing, because that's what's really got my head spinning here. <sighs> so Juwario, Justin Carmichael, that's his real name. But Ju Wario was his internet handle. He was a dude who, he was one of the sort of lesser known contributors at that guy with the glasses. There were, the big three were the Nostalgia Critic, Spoonie, and Linkara. They were like the big three main guys. And then everybody else was just kind of like B-Squad. So... So I never actually watched Juario's videos back when he was still alive. He, he committed suicide a few years ago. And it wasn't until about a year or two ago that I actually started to watch his old videos. And I really got into his stuff. Like, he made really great videos, especially compared to some of the other people on that website. He did some of the best stuff, and I was kind of kicking myself, like... Man, I wish I had watched this guy and, like, supported him when he was still alive, you know? Like, he had this whole series called You Can Play This, where he would review import games. And I actually started collecting Famicom games based on his recommendations. I got, all, I got a whole bunch of the games that he recommended. And I actually did a video a few months ago. I, where I showed off my Famicom collection and I, like, dedicated the video to his memory and was like, he had a great show, check it out. And and there were audio problems with my recording. The sound kept dropping out and so I deleted it and I was going to re-record it, but I never did. And, you know, I guess somebody out there's somebody up there is looking out for me because, boy, would I have had egg on my face now because... The recent revelation, so change the channel, hashtag change the channel. They've got this uh, former contributors of that guy with the glasses have put together this big long Google document where they've listed all their complaints that they had with with Channel Awesome and, and the management there and, and the sort of mistreatment they suffered. And in the document, they... They listed a, uh, they didn't name any names, but they listed a, a sexual predator that the management knew about and, and kept it hushed up. And they didn't, like, fire the guy for, like, they knew about it for, like, a while before they, they got rid of him. And, and that guy with the glasses, in their response, in their response to the, uh, well, not that guy with the glasses. It's not that, it's Channel Awesome now. See, I, I, I go back so far, I don't even think of him as Channel Awesome. That name never caught on with me. I, I still think of him as that guy with the glasses. But, um... So, yeah, so in their response, they, they tried to do this whole, like, debunking of the thing, where they show some chat logs of the alleged sexual predator that they were firing, and they block out the guy's name, but they kind of left it, like, they didn't block it out enough, like, you could still see the edge, that there was a J, that it started with a J, and they left the dates up of when they were firing him, 
and it shows like the date is like there's only one person who left the site on that date and it was Justin Juario Carmichael so then you find out oh Justin Juario <laughs> Juario he was uh, he was known by them to be grooming underage girls to, uh, you know, grooming them and, and, uh, and he was known on at least one occasion to have committed an assault on someone while they were unconscious and And that's heavy stuff, you know? Like, this guy... You know, it's like Bill Cosby all over again. Like, this guy was, like, pure, you know? He was, like, this pure... kind of guy. And now you find out this about him, and it's like... Jeez, man. Jeez, Louise. That's rough. You know? And the guy killed himself, too. So it's like... You know, he was just sort of like, uh, you know, I don't even know. I don't even know what to think right now. I'm so, <sighs> it's messed up. This is a messed up world. But you know what the thing about it is, though, is like, like there was some, uh, like, there's this old footage of a memorial. There's this old memorial video of him. Not him, but, like, at, at, after he died. The, some people got together at a convention, and they were, like, mourning him. And there's this memorial video where the, everybody gets up and kind of gives, like, a eulogy for him. And there was this one girl who gets up, and her she's called Kitty Marie. Her name was uh, Katie, but... She was like, Juario's nickname for me was Kitty. Like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> and she starts to go on about, you know, how Juario was, uh, like, he noticed me when no one else did. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, and she's talking about, like, I was the love-struck fangirl. And, and when, I, when I had my birthday, when I turned 19... I tweeted it, and, and Juario retweeted that it was my birthday, like, oh boy, yeah, I bet he did, oh my god. So you could kind of see, like, you know, if you watch that, even before this was found out, you were kind of like, huh, what's going on there? That seems like he was grooming this girl. But it's like, you didn't have any kind of confirmation or anything, so you wanted to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. You know, he was a married guy, and it's like, I mean, heck, even, she was 19, that's, there's no crime there. It's legal, he's married, it's kind of, eh, you know, it's not, it's a little sketchy, it's sketchy, but, you know, but then you find out about the other stuff he did, and it's like, oh, jeez, jeez Louise, you know. And, like, there's other people, like Mars Girl. Oh, poor Mars Girl. She made a whole movie. She, he had this series, Famicom and Rider, that was like... It was like he mixed his Famicom game reviews with, like... He was doing, like, live action. He got, like, a stunt team and was shooting, like, tokusatsu stuff, like Kamen Rider. He had a whole costume, and the production value was really good. And it was Famicom and Rider he did these videos. And and he was working on a movie of it. And when he died, when he he killed himself. And, and she took up the mantle. She, she got together, she raised the money and put in the work and got all people together and finished. They made a whole tribute movie. Farewell Famicom and Rider. And... And to put in all that time and work and energy and, and then find out this about the guy, like, she didn't know. And that's got to be like, I can't imagine how she's feeling. 
Ah. <sighs> For what it's worth, it was a pretty good movie she put together. I mean, it's not a good movie, but compared to, like, the That Guy with the Glasses movies that they've made, compared to, like, Suburban Nights and uh, To Boldly Flee, it's a pretty good movie compared to, <laughs> compared to those movies. But, uh... Oh, boy. Juario. Wow. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to think. Post a comment. Let me know what I should think. Okay? Because I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. Uh, it has been said, some people have put out the, uh, the theory that, uh... Oh. <laughs> Whew. Oh, I could feel that coming on. Okay, but some people... Oh, boy. Is there another... Is there another sneeze? Mm. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's another sneeze coming. Ah, oh, it's kind of like... Uh, I think it got stuck in my brain. Okay. Okay, I'm okay. So, some people have posited the theory that, uh... that the, uh, the people at Channel Awesome uh, have, have put out this... they, they intentionally leaked this information about Juario because they wanted to kind of distract from all the other bad stuff that's being said about them. And if you've watched my channel, you know I'm a conspiracy guy. I'm all into the the stuff. I'm very... I question things. All these things. This whole Syria thing, I'm very questioning that. This particular instance I do not, for one moment, believe that this was an intentional leak, a, a dangle, if you will, I believe that's the term. Uh, I do not believe for a moment that they are Machiavellian enough, or in fact competent enough, to even do something like that. The, the history of Channel Awesome, if you've followed them, if you've... Uh, followed all the drama over the years and everything, you, you will see a pattern of uh, just complete and total incompetence. And that's what I believe this is. When they failed to block out the dates, and they failed to even, they left the J showing, that is just par for the course in this type of incompetence that you see from Channel Awesome. And... You know, another thing is, uh, like, all the complaints, all the drama, all of it seems to all stem back to this one particular guy there, Mike Michaud, who is the, sort of the man behind the curtain at Channel Awesome. He's the guy, he pulling the puppet strings, you know, the Doug Walker, he's the guy out front, he's the friendly face everybody knows, the nostalgia critic, it's him, he's the guy, it's his videos, he's... The, like, he's the guy. He's the guy who started the whole thing, who, he's the talent, it's all... He's the guy. He's the Channel Awesome guy. But somehow, this guy, Mike Michaud, this guy, somehow he got to Doug at the beginning and was able to, like, get the rights. Like, Mike Michaud owns the Nostalgia Critic. He owns Channel Awesome. He owns it all. Somehow. Doug Walker must be, like, the, just a complete lunkhead. <laughs> because how do you let this guy get the rights to your character that you created and all this and that? Like, I can't imagine. Like, what did, what did Mike Michaud tell him to be like? He's like, hey, like, Doug Walker, like, Doug Walker rolls into Chicago like he just fell off the turnip truck. And Mike Michaud, he's there waiting at the bus stop, you know? And he's like, hey, hey. Who you with? You got a man? Hmm? <laughs> He's like, hey, listen, I'm gonna take care of you, okay? Here's how it's gonna work. You do all the work, and I get all the money, right? This this Mike Michaud guy, he's a genius of some sort. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. He's just lucky, I guess. But Doug, Doug Walker, what were you thinking when you get this Michaud guy? 
when you let this Mashad guy just own you. Like, not own, like in the video game sense, but like literally own, like, you know, like Doug Walker is like three-fifths of a person, and Mike Mashad is like his master. How do you let that, how do you sign away your life to somebody to the point where it's like he's caused all these problems for you? Like, you're the guy who's out there. Your face is on this company. You, everything, your whole reputation is on the line here. And you have all these problems about this one guy and you can't get away from him because he owns your whole brand. Like, what were you thinking? Post a comment down below. Let me know what Doug Walker was thinking. Let me know how this, how this happened. Like, how do you let this happen to yourself? You gotta protect yourself, people. Never sign your life away to some, some weird guy. Okay. So yeah. So I guess that's it. I guess that's our video. We'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. Uh, you know, I don't want to trash on, on anybody here. I don't want to trash, you know, Doug Walker. Because, you know, Doug Walker, the Nostalgia Critic, the whole channel awesome thing, has been a real inspiration to me. Okay, and a big inspiration to this particular, my YouTube channel and, and my uh, sort of philosophy towards it. And, and um, like, Doug Walker gives me hope. Because, not to insult him here, okay, but he is pretty incompetent. You gotta admit Doug, if you're watching, you gotta admit, you're pretty incompetent, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you are. So I look at a guy like Doug Walker and his videos, and, and I see the popularity that he's gotten and the, the success he's been able to achieve, that he could make a career doing this, that he could start his own company, get and buy a big office building, a studio where he can shoot his stuff, make his own brand, and... and do this as a career and, and hire a staff and everything. I look at that. I look at that guy and I say to myself, if he can do that, then me, I could do anything. I could take over the world. If he can pull that off with that level of incompetence, I just gotta, I just gotta put in the work. I just gotta keep making these videos. And that's what we're going to do right here. So be sure to subscribe for more future videos. And we're going to get better, get better videos, better content coming your way very soon. Sooner than you might think. Well, maybe not that soon, but soon. We're going to have lots of videos. So like, comment, and subscribe. And, and tell me, was this a good video? I don't know. I don't know. Looking back right now, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. I don't know. I don't know. Post a comment. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. Whatever. Post a comment. Subscribe to our Patreon. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe to the Patreon. Donate to the Patreon. Subscribe to the channel and the YouTube and the Twitter. We got our Twitter. All our social media links down below. We take Bitcoin. We take, uh, we have a Facebook, Instagram. We got it all. We got it all right here. So stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, and donate, and, oh, man. <sighs> this world, this is a terrible world. Post some comments, cheer me up, help me out here. This is, share this video on, on Twitter and, and Tumblr and wherever, wherever videos may be shared, and and help, help cheer me up, because this is just a bummer, man, this whole thing. So many bummers going around lately. It's like, ah, we gotta, we gotta put on a happy face. We gotta let our frown be our umbrella. That saying never made sense, because it's like, upside down. But, uh, wait, no, a frown would be an umbrella. See, I can't even say, my smile. You gotta smile, be an umbrella. Anyway, I'm just going on now. This is stupid, so let's, uh... <laughs> Let's end this video. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, guys, and, uh, yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> See ya. See you around. See you in the next video, guys.
Okay, okay, bye.